What's up guys, Jesse here with Adventure Endeavor. My lovely wife Melissa and Lincoln are behind the camera and today we're talking pellet smokers. You guys know that we absolutely love smoking meats and we reached out to Halo and they sent us out their Prime 300 countertop pellet smoker. But what's super unique about this smoker is that it is battery powered. So we're gonna kind of tear into this box, show you exactly what we're seeing. The only thing that we have opened beforehand is the battery and the charger. And the reason we did this is so we could charge up the battery, so we could kind of show you an initial startup and our first impressions. And then there will probably be more, more details to come on this smoker, how we like it, how the performance is. But we're super excited to show you guys this. So right there, they have a quick link to register uh, your product, probably for warranty and stuff like that. Right there on the opening, that's nice and convenient. So initial impressions is, I like the size. The box made it seem pretty big, but overall it's already a lot smaller, which is nice for us because we have limited space, uh, especially the new trailers that we're in. So let's just kind of take a look at it. Industries first, battery powered outdoor pellet grill. Holy guacamole. It's gonna have a really nice LED display. Wow. Obviously we gotta put a handle on it here. I think there's a little bit of assembly, but it should be fairly simple. All right, so we are following the quick start guide. Uh, first step after we got all of the packaging apart. By the way, they do a really good job with packaging, so your product is going to arrive in great condition. First thing we're gonna do is attach the handle to the outside, and that just requires two nuts, right? Yeah, two Phillips screws. Okay, and they also advise to save these end caps of the packaging for when you are putting the legs on. Just yeah, to... so you can kind of prop it up and install the legs easier or you can fully do one of these yeah. and then bam, it's easy to work on it. And it's nice that it says that in the packaging. All right, so ours didn't come with a screwdriver. Some of these products will give you like a little screwdriver, but you're gonna need a regular Phillips because it does need to extend through these legs here. Uh, so like a multi-tool or whatever like won't work um, and always remember when you're doing this this is four screws get them all started before you tighten them down that's just a little tip because half the time you know just to line everything up it's just way easier and I know from experience okay then the next step here is just to install the grease plate um, and you just put it right on these little notches it's got little notches right here that it slides onto so just, come on, there we go. And then it just rests down here, which is great. It has a ton of fall. That's to control your heat mm -hmm. from your firebox. And what I really like is, Melissa mentioned, a ton of fall. A lot of companies do these and they don't have nowhere near enough fall. So the grease just kind of sits and it piles up. But this thing has a lot of fall. So it's gonna come to your catch mm -hmm. can easily. And your catch can is right here. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how it goes on yet because we haven't gotten there. But anyways, a lot of fall is super nice. That is nice. That is high quality. I will say that we have had previous smokers that, like Jesse said, all of the grease just kind of accumulated and we had many grease fires. It's really annoying. Yeah, uh, so I'm hoping that that helps with that issue yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I like that design feature. All right, sorry guys, we kind of skipped over showing you how this works, but we just installed the searing damper linkage. Um, this little bar here, um, this part goes down and up uh, through this little hole, and then the handle screws on. 
so that you can just adjust it like this. Yeah, so this is open the te your closed. temperature and your smoke. Mm -hmm. So when you keep it closed, obviously be less, open is more. And this is really cool too because a lot of smokers, you have to lift the grate and adjust it. So you can't really adjust it on the fly. That's uh, that's two thumbs up to Halo right there. That's freaking cool. Yeah, definitely liking all these design features. They really, it's really well thought out. So they have this small warming rack that rests up here. It is two pieces. This was located in the bottom of the smoker. It just kind of slips through and then it pops in, hopefully pretty easily. There's just little holes, that go, oops, that it supposedly goes into. We're learning as we go. And we should have put it in before that. But it's okay, because we're learning. Bam, you got your little warming rack. Then you have your actual cook space. And I think that might be it for install, I think. All right guys, so this smoker is battery operated. This is a protective placeholder, not a battery. The battery is sold separately. You guys need to understand that. I'm saying that now. Battery sold separately. I believe the battery, this, and a cover is roughly $650, which is pretty reasonable in my opinion. It's super high quality, and you gotta remember, it gives you multiple ways to smoke your meats. This is a placeholder, and you can put your battery in here, but you can also smoke via 110, so it's super portable. And they say that you could smoke, I believe, what did that tag say? Up to 16 hours, 16, 17 hours. So off one battery charge, which is pretty insane. So we charged this up. Let's put it in and see what happens. Oh, I see lights over here. So we got battery, so that's cool. I guess let's start it up. We probably need to add pellets. There you go. Flashing oh, prime. Flashing. Got it. Prime. Got it. Now push and hold. It's loading up pellets. And we're supposed to start it up and run it at 350. And igniter should be going. And we should start to get smoke soon. Oh, I think I see flame. Smells like a smoker. It smells good. <laughs> okay, we got this page in the manual that talks about all of the different features of your Prime 300 countertop pellet grill. 10 pound hopper capacity. That's pretty awesome. 301.9 square inches of total cooking surface. So great for large cuts of meat. We'll definitely be cooking some briskets on this. Ew. Uh, has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability as well. So that's nice. You can control that from your phone. Uh, we already discussed the lithium ion battery operated igniter system. Oh, by the way, up here real quick. That's mm -hmm. probably one of the coolest things. Like literally, it's on the tailgate of the Jeep with this epic scenery. We have the Eastern Sierras behind us. We got smoke flowing. <laughs> and I mean, like, come on, it's not plugged in. Guys, look, look, it's not plugged in. Like, it's just, just trying to show you. It's literally just smoking, starting up all by itself. How cool is that? Just wants to highlight that it has a wide range of temperatures. You can sear, roast, and smoke at temperatures from 180 degrees to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a direct sear system uh, where you can adjust the damper on the center vent to sear meats for even distribution. Wired meat probe, so you can actually heat your meat to the accurate temperature, which is really nice. Swing away warming rack. Swings away for clear viewing of food when open and continues food warming when closed. I'll show you that. Oh, huh? Go ahead, open it. There it goes, see? So you Swing can put some small rack. cuts of meat up there, brats, whatever, to keep it warm, or if you just want to add more smoke, because the lid is curved and domed. So That's you put nice. it up there and yeah. There you go. And last but not least, this very large 
digital controller display, you can see your temperature from across the room. That's really, really nice. This right here is the rechargeable lithium iron battery pack that Jesse mentioned is sold separately. And you can connect up to three chargers together, which is pretty rad. Okay, here we have the cover bag, also sold separately. You want to go ahead and open that up and show them what it looks like? Yeah, so it's an all-weather protection and custom tailored for the Prime 300 countertop pellet smoker. So, obviously we're not going to put it on right now because the thing is hot. It's doing the initial burn. Let's see here. So it folds flat and can be hung up when not in use. Designed for a custom tailored fit, obviously for this unit. Windproof design with elastic lined bottom. Very cool, let's pop it open. I don't know what we'll see. Ugh. It's really nice, look at this. This is like backpacking stuff, like super high quality clips, aluminum, like, actually, those same clips are on my sandals. Ah, which are like super high quality and nice. I like that, wow. Fancy. It's got a snap. So yeah, it's nice, it has like these rigid panels kind of built into the sides, to the front. And as far as I can tell, I think it would go like this, like over the top, and then it has zippers. So like once you put it over the top, you could zip it. So it's not technically a bag per se. It's not like a carry bag. It's more of a cover. Like it would be on your counter, your table, wherever. You put it on, you zip the sides and it's covered and the feet are still exposed, which works really well for us because I'm going to show them how we plan on using and running and storing this thing. All right, guys, so here's our game plan with this smoker. It's going to kind of live right here. We don't know if we can smoke with it here or not. And it also depends on where we're parked because lots of times we don't unhitch, but it does come out pretty far cargo slide situation so yeah we don't know if we're gonna actually be able to use it on the surface or not but that's what our hope is it'd be really convenient uh it does open enough so yeah fingers crossed that works out and then the pellets are gonna live this is our little we love these husky totes a little more versatile than a five gallon bucket that is a five gallon tote and those are gonna kind of just live up on top of our water tank there but keep in mind this thing can go anywhere. It's battery operated. It can be placed on a table right here, no problem, because it's it's easily light enough for Melissa to carry it or myself. Yeah, how much does it weigh? I don't know. <laughs> we'll get back to you on that. We really hope you guys enjoyed this initial video. This is gonna be probably on our Instagram a bunch because we love smoking meats, sharing recipes, stuff like that. It's also gonna be um, in other, just of our vlog type videos. And uh, we look forward to just kind of letting you guys know how we like it along the road as we go. We are very excited about it. It's been quite a while since we have had a working smoker. Very, very <coughs> excited about this. We're probably going to be smoking some chicken tonight. Yes. Um, a pork shoulder. 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 Yeah, we're going to try week. and do some pulled, <laughs> pulled pork tacos. So we'll try to show you guys that and let you know how it all works out. And then as we kind of learn the battery as well, we'll try to let you know hey, we've gotten this many hours, X, Y, and Z, kind of more, more details. That's the initial so far, super high quality. Mm -hmm. We're stoked and uh, we look forward to sharing more with you guys.